Hello, my name is Mark Semino, Chef Concierge at the Intercontinental Boston. Boston is a city firmly established as one of the most desirable visitor destinations in the nation. The city's cobblestone streets, 200-year-old buildings, and revolutionary landmarks blend remarkably well with our contemporary styling and create an ambiance that is uniquely Boston. Let me take you on an insider's tour of this truly memorable and unforgettable city. Just outside the hotel, you'll find the Boston Harbor Walk, a network of trails that runs along the waterfront. The Harbor Walk is perfect for an early morning stroll or run and offers Boston's most magnificent sunrises. The Fort Point Channel was part of a vast marine area known as South Bay. Today it's home to artists, offices and residents, as well as several Boston cultural and harbor destinations. Although still undergoing dramatic change, the Fort Point Channel has emerged as one of Boston's most desirable destinations to live, work, and play. Right here in the Fort Point Channel is arguably one of the best places to fuel for our exploration of the city. The Flower Bakery and Cafe offers a warm and inviting atmosphere and by far the city's best sticky buns. Boston has its fair share of famous chefs, but none more so than James Beard award-winning chef Barbara Lynch, whose latest creation, Menton, is a glamorous expression of fine dining. Boston has restaurants that cover the full spectrum. Being in New England, seafood very predominant on our menus, but created in a variety of ways. Menton certainly showcases Barbara's love of both Italian and French cooking. Just downstairs from Montan, you will find Barbara Lynch's bar, Drink, which is dedicated to the craft of the cocktail. Scott will prepare the signature drink, the Fort Point, for me. Fort Point? Cheers. Boston's North End is also known as our Little Italy, and for Italian dining at its best, Limoncello can't be beat. Limoncello is a family-run restaurant with several generations pitching in. Maurizio Badalato and family serve only the freshest ingredients and individually prepare every meal. Boston has a long history of seafood and fishing in the Northeast. For a truly unique seafood experience, I highly recommend Mare. In Boston's North End, our Little Italy, now, Mare boasts an almost entirely certified organic and sustainable seafood menu. One of the few seafood restaurants in the city that does. No shopping trip to Boston is complete without a visit to Louis Boston. Founded in the late 1800s by Louis Pearlstein, sons Nathan and Saul incorporated in 1925 with the sole mission of selling the finest clothing in the world. Louis Boston offers an array of fine women's and men's clothing, as well as a host of home furnishings. After a hard day of shopping at Louis Boston, feel free to stop upstairs at Sam's. This French-American cafe on the second floor of Louis offers unpretentious food and the most magnificent views of Boston. Boston being a very historic city is also a mecca for antique shopping. No visit to Boston would be complete without a visit to Beacon Hill, which is Boston at the turn of the 19th century. With its cobblestone streets and gaslit lanterns, it's truly representative of revolutionary Boston. Main Street here in Beacon Hill is known as Charles Street, also known as Antique Row. The majority of antique shops in Boston can be found along there, offering a truly unique shopping experience. Boston's Freedom Trail is a historic two and three quarter mile walking tour linking 16 historic sites through Boston and Charlestown. The Freedom Trail is a magnificent way to see Boston's revolutionary history, culminating with the USS Constitution and Bunker Hill Monument. The USS Constitution is one of the most popular sites along the Freedom Trail. It's also one of the most crowded. By taking the water taxi to the end of the Freedom Trail, you can beat the crowds and you can continue on to such landmarks as the Bunker Hill Monument, Copps Hill Burial Ground, Old North Church, and Paul Revere House. Boston is home to a tremendous amount of cultural and art institutes, most notably the Institute for Contemporary Art, right here on Boston's waterfront. 
Founded in 1936, the Institute of Contemporary Art was the first museum in Boston devoted solely to contemporary art. With the opening of their iconic waterfront building, the first new museum built in Boston in over 100 years, we have a wonderfully revitalized waterfront area. Summer nights, cool sounds, and this wonderful waterfront setting provide an ideal location for their complimentary Thursday night music series. I hope you've enjoyed your insider's tour of our beautiful city. I want to take the opportunity to thank you for joining me today, and rest assured, Boston has plenty more to see and explore.